you believe no. he was a sinner? No. Okay. So you don't believe Muhammad is a sinner. So the Quran says mm -hmm. Muhammad is a sinner. Show me substantially. Yeah, sure. Uh, there's about there's about three verses mm -hmm. that shows that Muhammad is a sinner. Yeah. Okay. Fine. You are back. Yes. So here it is. Yeah. Uh, so you know, O Muhammad, that there is no God except Allah, mm -hmm. and ask forgiveness for your sin mm -hmm. and for the believing men and believing women. Mm -hmm. so there you go. God yes. is saying, ask forgiveness for your sin. Mm -hmm. So if Muhammad is not a sinner, Allah mm -hmm. wouldn't say, ask forgiveness for your sin. So Muhammad is a sinner. Do you agree? We no, I don't agree. We believe that... You don't agree? No, I don't, I don't yeah, agree in the sense that we believe that Muhammad, Muhammad was uh, infallible. Infallible. Uh, yeah, infallible. Okay. Do you that have, you have that, proof that, to that, that, No, that is my understanding. And again, I'm, I'm a layman. In a sense. Understanding from reading the Quran. Understanding from uh, reading the Quran and listening to uh, scholars. Uh, also, Muhammad used to humble himself and always seek forgiveness. So we have a, ha a hadith where he used to pray at night, the entire night. And then uh, until his feet were small, and then Aisha told him, like, why are you praying? You've already been guaranteed Jannah. And he told me, should I be, shouldn't I be uh, thankful? So in that sense, God um, made it impossible for him to commit sin. Uh, but for example, you have... Uh, but God is the one, God is the one talking here, ask yeah. forgiveness for your sin. So if you're saying what, 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 God yeah. made it impossible for him to yeah. sin, yeah. Why would God say, ask forgiveness for your sin? I know, it's something that, astaghfirullah, uh, we should always seek uh, refuge and forgiveness for it's sins. Exactly. Yeah, it's yeah, something that it's we the all same, say. It's the same with believing yeah, men and women. It's a message for all of us. It's a message for all of us. So yeah, he's I, a sinner. I, I, no, no. So he's I a sinner. If, if Muhammad read, was a sinner. If you read it uh, like that, and I have to look at it, if That's you read it, for, it like Surah that, then you could imply that, but it is our, it is consensus that he is not a sinner. That is... No, but the Islam does not say Muhammad is not a sinner. Islam says Jesus is not a sinner. Satan could not touch the placenta mm -hmm. of Jesus. Mm -hmm. He touched everyone mm -hmm. except Jesus, Satan. Yeah. He touched Muhammad himself. Yeah. yeah? It, Muhammad said that inside Al Bukhari. But so Jesus, Muhammad. Says he's a sinner. Well, we're not talking about that. Oh. We're not talking. That's independent. Oh. You need to prove your claim on that one. Yeah, that's what he says but on in your Quran, Quran, there are three verses mm -hmm. that says Muhammad is a sinner. This is one of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, we don't believe that. But your Quran now says it. Well, you can, <laughs> your, your and, that why, and that is why the Quran says, for the interpretation, as'alu ahl al -dikr. No, give me the interpretation. Give me the tafsir of this verse. We don't interpret it. it no, but there is, is a tafsir, though. I there, is a there is a tafsir. Shall we get it out, yeah? Uh, you, you could get it out? Yeah. Because according to your scholars, you're saying Muhammad is infallible. Mm -hmm. You know what infallible means? Infallible yeah, means... I, I, impossible to... Uh, impossible to, 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 to sin. To sin yes. Okay, that can only be attributed to God. Every single human being is a sinner. Mm -hmm. All humans are sinners. Allah says in the Quran. Including yeah. Muhammad. Allah says in the Quran, he doesn't do nothing from his mind. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry? Uh, Prophet Muhammad doesn't do nothing from la, his mind. La it is not his own hawa. decision by Jibril. But that doesn't mean he does, didn't sin though. Yeah, that's that didn't mean he didn't sin. He did sin. Muhammad what? sinned many, many times. Did you say Muhammad is just saying? Yeah, yeah, I didn't say it. The Quran says it. I know show, I'm show saying it too, but the Quran says. Many, show me a sin. When the Quran says the Quran, yeah, the Quran, the Quran says seek forgiveness. Yeah. No, but ask no, forgiveness for your yeah, sin. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if this you're not a sinner, yeah. you don't ask forgiveness. No, no, this is a for concept in Islam. If you're not a sinner, even if you're infallible, it's a way of being humble. You ask forgiveness. Okay, can you prove that from Islam? Yes, it is something. Go on, prove it. Prove it. You got it. You've got internet on your your phone yeah prove well, that this is islamic it is islamic yeah prove because it. because it because i'm giving you the quran i'm yeah. not just talking no, from I my un, mind I and i'm going to give you the tough every, as well every layman muslim knows that asking forgiveness for sins is um is uh, fundamental it's a because fundamental a aspect sinner. sorry because you are sinner you sin you ask for forgiveness exactly so what kind of sin mm -hmm. did muhammad did mm -hmm. allah asked muhammad to ask forgiveness for his sins would you say for example uh, daniel had me out as a human being would you say killing someone is sin yes slapping someone is sin yeah 
Yes. Beating someone is sin? Yes. Lying is sin? Definitely. Would you agree with that? Those things are the things we ask for Well, sins are absolutely... Uh, no, would you agree with those four things, for example, that they are sin, they need to be asked for I, I, Again, I'm not a scholar. Sins are absolutely defined. And in that sense, if they're defined that way in the Islam, it is a sin. So does it, does it, Allah defines it or your scholar? The, the Quran and the Sunnah define okay. it. Okay, so Daniel, can you read the tafsir as Allah defines in the Quran? Yeah. Let's see scholars, what the scholars say. The tafsir of Ibn Abbas, mm -hmm. yeah? So no, o Muhammad, there is no God except Allah. Mm -hmm. There is none that harms or benefits, gives or withhelds, mm -hmm. raises, abases, mm -hmm. except Allah. Mm -hmm. And it is also said that the means and know that there is nothing that has merit of there is no deity except Allah. Again, yeah. Ask forgiveness for your sin, mm -hmm. O Muhammad, mm -hmm. when he beat up Zayd ibn Salmin the Jew. Yeah? This is Ibn Abbas Tafsir. And for the believing men and women as well, to seek forgiveness for the sins of the believing men and women. So Muhammad is saying, so Allah is saying, Ask forgiveness for your sin and for the believing men and women. So Allah is putting Muhammad in the same basket as you. No, it is our understanding and this is what you're presenting. No, this is Ibn Taf Tafsir Ibn, Kathir, uh, should, uh, Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas, I should look into it. Surah 47, Ayah 19. Yeah. I would have Check out Tafsir Ibn Abbas. There is Al Jalalain if you want it. There is Ibn Kathir, which is what very, is very the, long. Uh, what, is the, uh, what is the verse? Surah uh, 47, Ayah 19. Remember, this is only the first one. We've got two more to go. Well, this. <laughs> what, what surah is this? 47. 47. Oh, you got the Quran with you? Yeah. Oh. 47, yeah. Ayah 19. Do you read Arabic? Yes. Okay, so I've got that. Uh, He's on the phone. Which I am nineteen. And the thing is, here yeah, Jesus was not uh, deemed like this. Allah never said, ask forgiveness for your sin to Jesus. And we don't see in the hadith either, but Muhammad is. So who's greater in Islam, Muhammad or Jesus? Yeah, that's the one, yeah. You see? No, so I Muhammad. Need to, I need to read the interpretation. Yeah, yeah, no problem. We've got it here as well. So Muhammad is a sinner, yeah? Muhammad is not a sinner. What is it saying? What is your Quran saying or your tafsir? Your tafsir and Quran say Muhammad is a sinner. Interrupt me, I'll never get to the point. I don't need to interrupt you. I've read it already that Muhammad is a sinner. No, Muhammad is not a sinner. Does it say Muhammad is not a sinner? Okay, now we go to Surah 19, Ayah 19. Until you take, uh, until you take your time, it says, "He said, I am only a messenger of the Lord that I may bestow on you a faultless son, which is Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus is seen as faultless." In your faultless, yeah, which means yeah, sinless. Fault, faultless. Sinless. Yes, yes. So Jesus is sin as sinless in Islam, yeah. but Muhammad is sin as sinful. Mm -hmm. Who's greater in Islam? Well, now you're again. No, but, I'm not no, no, but what, what you read, yes, I want you to explain yes. from what you read. No, no, no I'm, I'm not. I, I is he a sinner? No, no, I don't. We don't believe it is our. So explain what you read. Explain yeah, what you read. No, this is explanation is not. Uh, we shouldn't do interpretation. It's for the scholars. No, you read the interpretation. Yeah. The interpretation no, no, is there not, already. It's not, no, it's not. It's not. What uh, did you just it, read? It, you read an interpretation, right? No, but it's it's not clear. But you read the Quran yeah, and the yeah, interpretation. Yeah, yeah. Now I just want you to explain to me. Yeah. Okay. It is from our belief to 
refer to the scholars for the interpretation. And the scholars have established that Muhammad is not a uh, sinner. No, they haven't established Yes, that. they have established I just this read, is, I just read Ibn Abbas, the well, first can, cousin of yeah, Muhammad. Yeah, 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 yeah. You if can't that, get better if, than that. Well, no, if that was so clear, then it would be a fact, and all mu Muslims would adhere to that and acknowledge that he is a sinner. But the, actually, the, uh, the opposite is uh, reality. We believe that Muhammad is free of sin. Exactly. Actually, so now the uh, onus is on you. Came to him. I understand. Removed, the onus yeah. is on you yeah. to yeah. show me yeah. why you believe that when yeah. your scriptures yeah. are going yeah. against what you're no, saying. Well, well, we have scripture and we have uh, a hadith. And it is, again, very clear from uh, the information which I have read that he is infallible. No, uh, the, the, your, your hadith, is, yeah. my brother. The hadith does not say Muhammad is infallible. In fact, mm -hmm. Sahih al-Bukhari goes on to say, mm -hmm. Muhammad had to ask forgiveness for his sin mm -hmm. 70 yeah. times a day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I understand 70. That yeah, I know. So, he's so, not infallible. Infallible men don't go around and ask forgiveness for their yeah. sin. No. They don't. Oh, yeah. But you don't understand the concept of asking forgiveness for sin even though you're sinless. It's a concept in Islam which is very common. But Jesus never never, never did that. Jesus was called sinless. So who's greater? If he's sinless and Muhammad is sin full, the logic is Jesus is greater. You, you, you keep on repeating yourself, Muhammad is sinful. This is your interpretation. We believe uh, this is my interpretation. We, we believe the opposite. We believe the opposite. But let's. But you haven't uh, proved that, though. Yeah, you you well, believe well, that, but you haven't yeah, proved yeah. it. Well, I need you to. Uh, we refer back to the scholars, and they have a clear I just explanation. Did. Is I Ibn Abbas? Ibn Abbas is like the first cousin yeah, of Muhammad. Yeah, but but it still. That's means, a tough yeah, I, I understand you can present it in this way. But I wanted. What I wanted to ask you is. Uh, that Muhammad is a sinner. I'm just. Uh, <laughs> do you believe in uh, original sin? Every man is born a sinner. Every, Every man is born a sinner. Every human being. Is, that's why we need a savior. Due to uh, due to the sin of Adam. Yeah. Uh, so hypothetically speaking, if a baby is uh, born and he dies, is he then a sinner or sinless? He's, he's a sinner, but he's not responsible for his sin. He's not responsible for his sin. Yeah, because so he's he a baby. To heaven? Yeah, I believe so, but the Bible is not explicit on that. But I believe he does. So he does. I believe he does, but the Bible is not explicit on that. Okay. Your responsibility will begin when you are mentally, yeah, mentally, mentally okay. mature. But the Bible says how all men have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, which is why we needed a savior. So you don't teach a baby to lie. You don't teach him to lie. They will lie when they're two years old. They will lie to you. Why? Because it's already in them. That's why they need a savior to wash that sin away. But uh, your concept of God, is it is he uh, all merciful, absolutely merciful, yeah, yeah. absolutely just? He's holy, yeah. he's merciful, yes. he's loving, yes. and he's, uh, he has justice. But how, how then do you rhyme that with the concept of him requiring a blood sacrifice for sinful people? We're all, all uh, born sinful, we're, all, we're not perfect, we're not angels. Why then would God require um, a actual blood sacrifice? If he's intrinsically uh, omnipotent, all merciful, why can he just choose to forgive? Because, if you're because, because, he, because yeah. he chose yeah. to sacrifice. But, but why would you have to... Uh, for example, if I see... If, if you're crossing the road in a... I, I, there's a car coming, speeding your way. Why would I, if I'm all-powerful, if I can just pull you back, throw my son in front of the car, and then pull you back? Why would I? No, have he didn't. To? He didn't throw the son in front of the car. Well, that's what the son went in willingly. But, but why? The would son he? was not unwilling. He did it willingly. So he didn't throw the son. Yes. The son did it, but yeah, if willingly. You're all powerful. Why wouldn't you just pull that well, baby, uh, or, or you in this case, uh, 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 pull him back? And why is there a son that is uh, being sacrificed? Because for everyone to live, yes, there needs to be something to be sacrificed. 
Let me give an example. Let me give an example. Let me give an example. Yeah. For you to live on Earth, yes, you must sacrifice something physically. Yeah. For us to live, we need to eat, which means. Well, let me explain. Which means we need to sacrifice an animal, or we need to sacrifice a plant if you're a vegetarian. Your physical body cannot live without food. Yeah. You have to sacrifice something. Spiritually, it's the same thing. We sin against God. God, that's how, that's how He created it. The principle is something must pay the price. So God paid the price by coming down as a human nature and sacrificed Himself for us. That's the principle God created. So you can't say why can't He not do so? God can do whatever way He can. He can do it the way you said it, but He chose to do it this way because that's how He created the world. I understand that. Okay, but um, coming back to the point, if He's omnipotent, all powerful, all merciful, why would He, if He's all merciful, why would He choose to sacrifice His Son? For example, if you were hypothetically to, uh, for you to save me, you have to sacrifice your. Say you had a child, you just had a baby born, and He's. Uh, He's still uh, 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 he's free of sin. Would you then think it's a merciful thing for you to sacrifice that child to save me? Is that, that's just not, that's just not what's happening. Well, but it, what's it, happening here is yeah. the child, yeah. the son, which is Jesus, yeah. was willing to be sacrificed. Was he willing or not? Yes, was, he was, was willing. He in the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus was willing didn't he to be sacrificed. Say, Take this cup away from me. Yeah, and then what did he say afterwards? What did he say? That's what I'm saying. Muslims need to finish sentences. Yeah. He said, "Father, let your will be done, not your, my will." But what does that so say? What, what does was, that imply? No, but like, what was the will yeah, of the Father? Yeah. Yeah. What does that say exactly? What is it? If, so if you're taking this cup away from me and let your will be done, it's clearly showing that because he, he didn't really. No, no, no. He did. He he went, he went willingly. Mm -hmm. But when you when you're doing something willingly, it doesn't mean that you don't feel in your body mm -hmm. that this is. Mm -hmm. He felt the toughness mm -hmm. of being separated from the Father. Mm -hmm. He felt it. Mm -hmm. So he's talking out of the feeling mm -hmm. as a human yeah. nature saying, yeah. God, this is, Father, this is too much. It's but, so you're but, if, no, no, but if, yeah. let your will be done. I, he could have just walked away. No, no, I understand. He could have just, if God I, never forced if, him. I understand. But if I choose to do something willingly, my emotions would be relaxed. No, they won't be. Unless I have to do something that I don't, I don't like. Then with the emotions that you just described. Okay, well, so if that's the case, if well, that's the case, yeah? yeah. If your son is about to die, mm -hmm. God forbid, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone's about to kill mm -hmm. your son. You're about to go and save him. Mm -hmm. Is your emotions relaxed at that time? Well, you're basically just. Um, Acknowledging what I'm saying. No, but your emotions are not. Yeah. I am saying Jesus' yeah. was emotion was was yeah. was not relaxed. He wasn't relaxed, of course. He wasn't relaxed. So but yeah. in the face mm -hmm. of discouragement, mm -hmm. he still faced and said, "I'm going to do it," and he went and did it. Yeah. So it doesn't mean that he wasn't unwilling. You, so when you go and save your son, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean you are unwilling mm -hmm. to go and save your son. Even though your emotions say, "Whoa, this is going to be tough because I'm going to have to fight these people, so much battle going on," it doesn't mean you're unwilling. You are willing take, to do it, but your emotions like, "Oh, take this cup." So that's away why from emotions, me. yeah. Take this cup away from me. Yeah. If it's possible, yes. take this cup away from me. That's the exactly. emotions. Yeah. If, if, but if he said, not, "Not my will, but let your I will be done." So, so he okay, gave it. He gave me saying, "Let me." You know what? I will give it to your will. Let me rephrase it, my friend. And then he said, friend. "Let your will be done." Let me rephrase it, my friend. You're basically telling me to let me just get a crazy idea. Uh, you need to beat up that guy. Uh, no, I don't really want to do it, but I have to listen to you because you're my father. That's basically what you're telling me. Yeah, but he wasn't forced, forced, though. That was not forced. He wasn't forced. That was not because. If I if I'm your child and I'm telling you, oh, I don't want to do this. Take this cup away from me. I don't want to do this. But you're my father. Aren't you then uh, emotionally forced? No, you're not. No, you're but emotionally you're just, just you're emotionally feeling you're emotionally away. feeling down, not forced. Because you're doing it. Forced means someone's putting a gun on you or a knife or whatever. You're forced physically. You, you can, he wasn't. You, you, he did it you, you willingly be, physically. Yeah. So that's the, that's the question yeah. to your answer.
What it we're going circular. To, yeah, what it comes down to, my friend, is that... No, I, I'm going to ask you a question now. Oh, you want to... Sorry. Okay. No, <laughs> sorry. What it comes down to is, well, Islam and Christianity, it's very similar. For, uh, no, it's not similar at all. Well, so, it is. It, it, there, there's a Jesus died crux. on the cross. Well, that's that's the crux of the matter. Yeah, but yeah. Islam denies that Jesus died we, on we, the cross. And it is a grave point because for us it's so uh, Islam polytheism, and for you it's uh, your mon your version of monotheism. For you, the, you have a trinitarian uh, God. That's the crux, and it is a grave matter because if I believe in that, I would end up in hell and if you were to believe in what I believe you would end up in hell but in a but, sense it okay. we all acknowledge uh, Moses and Noah and in terms of that, that point, there is similarity that point, there but are, the core of the matter yeah. we do we do we uh, disagree on mm -hmm. but what I want to ask you is mm -hmm. Islam denies the crucifixion of Jesus uh, exactly yeah yeah who mm -hmm. made the Christians believe that Jesus was crucified according to Islam I'm not, again, I'm not, I'm not a scholar, I'm a... Have you read the Quran? I have read the Quran, yes. So according to the Quran, I'm only asking you. Mm -hmm. I'm not asking scholarly questions, mm -hmm. it's a symbol. Mm -hmm. Who made mm -hmm. Christians believe mm -hmm. that Jesus was crucified according to Islam? Uh, God in the Quran says, uh, uh, He made it appear that he was, um, he was uh, a sacrificer. Or, or, so Allah made it appear. He made it appear, yeah. That he was crucified. Exactly. So Allah deceived Christians. Allah is the one. He, so well, my, my, is, you, you, keep you have to blame Allah. A, a, For me to believe yeah, that yeah. Jesus was crucified, yeah, yeah. you must blame Allah because he's the one that deceived me. Uh, that deceived Christians. He said he made it. <laughs> well, you keep doing this. He no, but you just said it yourself. I understand. You I, no, 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 I didn't no, say anything. You're, you're you giving this. it your own uh, twist. What is my twist? You're being. Uh, what is my twist? Sorry. What is my twist? What did your I twist? Twi your twist is what Allah says is that He made it appear. No, you huh? said that. I, I said it. That okay. This is so what what is my says. twist? He, he made it appear, and then uh, you're basically portraying Allah as a deceiver. So who deceived Christians? Well, we take yeah, Quran says he's a deceiver. No. He said, well, yeah, we don't say, uh, that's Surah 354, yes, but I'm, yes, so, I'm talking no, about Surah no, 4157. That's not a characteristic of Allah. What? Uh, that he is a deceiver. Surah 354 uh, he, what, says what he, he's a deceiver. What, no, what he says is that the, um, uh, the uh, hi hypocrites, they plan and plot against him, but he's the best. Okay, so if but he's not a mucker. Yes. Sorry. What would you call yes. if someone, yes. if Daniel, yes. made you to believe yeah. I am dead? Yes. And yeah, exactly. Me, but, but, he, exactly. but he, no, no, no. at the but same time, you, yes. that's not my question. Yes. That's yeah. not my question. Yeah. Would you not yeah. say Daniel is lying right. by making you to believe, by twisting the events, exactly. making yeah. you to believe that but I am she dead? She died. So, but Daniel yes. is doing that. So Daniel is a liar. So yeah. I am responsible, remember. <laughs> no, no. What he, did is, what he did is, he cannot let a mighty messenger like Jesus to be sacrificed by men. That is why what he... sacrifice? Why would Jesus sacrifice? Well, they were planning on sacrificing him, Why? They? they weren't planning to sacrifice Jesus. They were planning to kill Jesus, uh, to, but to not kill, sacrifice. To, 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 sorry, they are different. Sorry, yeah, sir, crucify that, they are different. Yeah, my, my but that's I not the point. That. That's not the point. The point is, what would you call Daniel, mm -hmm. okay? Who made you mm -hmm. let me put, think like she died. Mm -hmm. Let no. me, let me put it simple. different. Uh, the, much the simple Quran example. Comes with guidance. My, much yeah. simple example. You went home for six o'clock dinner, yes. okay? Your mom said, mm -hmm. your mom said, mm -hmm. she made a dinner, pasta, she made spaghetti, Whatever, okay? Yeah, anything. You sat, up, you, you, sat, you sat on the dinner table, mm -hmm. there wasn't spaghetti, mm -hmm. but there was just hummus mm -hmm. or falafel. Yeah. Okay. Would you say to you, would you not think that your mom lied to you when she said she made spaghetti? No, no this is a totally different, totally different no, analogy. Is, both of them, both of them are lying. No, no, no it's not. Both of them are lying. You can, no. no. So your mom no, what's, what's, her, what's your name again? My my name is irrelevant. Okay, irrelevant. Can yeah, I call you irrelevant? Yeah, call me, call me, call me irrelevant. It was up half an hour ago. What I'm telling you in front of. Can I tell you? Yes. Can I call you Muhammad? And, um, okay, can, can I? I will just call you sir. Yeah. You can just, sir. Sir. Yeah. 
Jesus was crucified. Mm -hmm. I'm a Christian here. Mm -hmm. Allah made me think that he was crucified. No, he made it. He made me. He made it appear yeah. that he was crucified. But, so yeah. I am thinking mm -hmm. that Jesus crucified mm -hmm. because of Allah. But he came. Who's the deceiver this, here? Wait a second. He, with this, at the same time, he came with clear guidance. Who? Show the same. The, the Father that you worship is the same God that we worship. No. So at the same time. It's a different topic, but it's not. No, no. It, in in a sense, at the same time, he came with the Quran as the successor, as the final, no, no, no. As, as the Quran, final book, sir, sir, that, explaining sir, what happened at that time. Sir, that just that look, it that's seemed false. that that's he was false. Sorry? because Quran came 600 years later. Okay, within 600 years, Daniel mm -hmm. and Jesus's mother and mm -hmm. all the disciples mm -hmm. believe that Jesus died. 600 years later, mm -hmm. Allah comes, mm -hmm. okay, who like all those people, give you only one verse, well. mm -hmm. give you only one verse mm -hmm. out of blue mm -hmm. the, without any explanation and then tells, I made it appear. So Allah lied mm -hmm. for 600 years according no to your man, logic. You're a liar. So he Thank deceived, you. he deceived the Christians no, he for did, 600 he, years. No, he didn't no, man, deceive. You're the he deceiver. Deceiver. And you're the deceiver. Last time when I checked, you weren't you Allah then. Yeah. That's bad. Okay, Jesus so can you talk about Surah 4, 1, 5, 7? No, no, no. Okay, talk about your beard. so Allah deceived the Christians. Jesus, he didn't really deceive. That's so this, for 600 yeah. years, came, no, who they, no, so when they believed that Jesus was crucified yeah. for 600 years, it's because of Allah, yeah. no. right? We believe that he always provided guidance. Okay. And if you were to genuinely follow that guidance, you wouldn't and, uh, Mary never had a be uncovered. deceived. Uh, as you're Jesus portraying beard, that the, the, the people were for such Jesus a substantial a time. Yeah, we believe that there was that. always guidance. God isn't Jesus, unjust Jesus in the sense that he's beard. not going to provide guidance to the people. Okay, so but can you prove yeah, that can you prove that he provided guidance for Christians? Jesus had long hair like me. I'm Jesus. Yeah, you, you, you believe in me. Can that's you prove that from the Quran? I've got the Quran here for you. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's not a Quran. And I've yeah. got the Arabic. I've got I've got the hadith as well. I've got the yeah. tafsirs. Yeah. yeah. You know the Quran. Prove that yeah. Allah uh, provided Allah guidance. The Quran, the unpure people can't touch it. You're unpure. You can't touch yeah. it. This is the Quran here. Yeah. You're unpure. You can't touch it. I'm impure. Yeah, yeah. Do you believe I'm impure? Yeah. As he's saying. You got no faith. Jesus. Do you believe I'm, I'm impure? Jesus. As he's saying. Do you believe in me to be Jesus? Do you believe the scriptures are fulfilled in me? Do you believe in me? I'm Jesus and I'm telling you. Jesus had long hair and I've got long beard. Do you believe me? Sir, I am sorry that my, my, your friend thinks you are not capable of My wife is waiting for me. Oh, really okay, you're going to go. Okay. You can't have this truth. Nice talk to you, but leave Islam. Leave Islam and come one, to one Jesus. Thing, you can't, I'm one Jesus. thing we have in common. I'm Jesus. I'm Jesus. We have in common I'm Jesus. If we genuinely you listening ask to me? guidance I'm to Jesus. our creator, it will guide us. Look, that's Jesus Christ. You're dressed like a woman, bro. We'll, we'll leave it in the Christ. middle. Your hair's like a woman. God bless you. Thank you. Sir, you understand? Do you I'm Jesus. You're talking to me. Sorry, I have to, I have to I'm go. Jesus. Right. You said you I'm here. Look, I'm Jesus. Okay. I'm Jesus with long hair. Well, you oh. can't handle me. Okay. You can't handle me. Okay. I'm here. I'm Jesus. You're like a woman, bro. I can't handle you on what? Yeah, you can't handle me. I'm more close to Jesus than you Okay. All right. Um, we have Muslims here who interrupt for no reason. It's very clear that um, the Quran says Muhammad was a sinner. The Hadith says Muhammad was a sinner. And the Quran confirms that Jesus was sinless. Who's better, Jesus or Muhammad? Another thing is in the Bible that Jesus Christ said, take away from the, to the Father. He said, if it's possible, take away this cup from me, but not as I will, as you will. Jesus went on the cross willingly, not unwillingly. That's what we were discussing here. And then we finished with who deceived the Christians that Jesus was crucified. Allah, according to Surah 4157, Allah made it appear that Jesus was crucified. So according to Islam, we are deceived because of Allah. And Surah 354 says Allah is the best of deceivers. But the Bible says our God is the truth. Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. There's no, there's no darkness, there's no lie in him. Who do you rather follow? The one who has the truth and no darkness or the one full of lies and sin, which is Muhammad and Allah? Leave Islam and come to know Jesus Christ. It's a dark religion, Muslims. We love you. God bless you.